Many people have asked me, what's the difference between an upper mid and low core player with right balance? So if you look at Kathleen on the left, she is my low core model. She's going to have the most knee flex and spine tilt and thigh tilt will match. She's going to be standing the tallest. Now that low core player, they're the players that are going to be the most rotated at impact. That's your Dustin Johnson, Lee Torino in his prime, Paul Azinger, David Duvall. Lori on the right, she's more bent over. She's got her weight in a different part of her feet. There's her knee flex, nowhere near as squatty as Kathleen. Lori, mid core, this is the swing most people want, most people teach. There's a club slightly under the plane, and here she is at impact. Hips rotated, pretty much tour average, 40 to 45 degrees at impact. Then you look at me, and you're going to see that my weight's in the balls of my feet, and I'm going to rotate into a jump. I'm not going to be very rotated. That is upper core. As we look at this face-on, and we look at Kathleen face-on, Low core players, your grip has to match hip rotation impact. She's going to have the strongest grip. She's going to be the most rotated. She's going to have the most lag in her swing. And her right arm is not going to straighten until almost parallel to the ground past impact. If you look at me as an upper core player, again, I'm rotating into a jump, standing up, and my release point is going to be somewhere just past impact. I call it release point where the butt of the club is pointing back at the center of the chest and both arms are about equal distance. Both arms are fairly straight. The other thing we look at is where is the right elbow? Upper core players, the right elbow is gonna be behind the rib cage. Low core players are gonna have it the most forward. And then as we look at Lori, you're gonna see Lori here she is going back and she's gonna have a release point. Her right arm is gonna straighten somewhere in here. So her release point is later. Another thing we look at is a pivot. You can see Lori has a little bit of movement to her right foot. If we watch Kathleen, look at the slide and very little hip rotation. So the pivot of a low core player is there. So when I'm looking at someone swing, I'm looking at how rotated are their hips at impact? Where's their release point? Where's that elbow coming into the ball? All these kind of things that we're going to look at to determine. And another thing that we will look at is how they use the ground. So if you look at Justin Thomas, who won the PGA, you're going to see Justin Thomas. He rotates, but notice how vertical he gets. Look at him jump. His left heel's off the ground. If you look at the pressure mat on the right, a couple more frames, he's nowhere, not even hardly touching the ground with his, right, with his left foot there. Now, if we look at Jordan Spieth, who we believe is a low core player, you're going to see someone that when he, he rotates so much, his weight's in his left heel at impact. And if your weight's in your left heel, you can't jump. So low core players jump the least. Upper core players like me, we use verticals the most. We jump the most, but we use lateral motion the least because we tend to pivot more around the left side of our bodies. So it's pretty interesting whether we're talking about the grip, we're talking about how rotated your hips are at impact, where is that release point, where's the elbow coming in the ball, where's your weight in your left foot at impact, all of these traits determine whether you're upper, mid, or low core. Thanks.